secured entrepreneurs. <laughs> it's like 2.30 in the morning, okay? Uh, I have been in here jamming for the past 15 minutes. I just want you all to know. And you all know that I'm in the desert. It is hot. I don't care how much air. I think it's like 110 degrees already at 2.30 in the morning, okay? Anyway, I want to thank all of the secured entrepreneurs who have come on board this month. Thank you. I want to thank all of the entrepreneurs who are emailing. Thank you. Please continue to do so at info at auroradayconsulting.com. I want to thank all of the secured entrepreneurs who are uh, trusting Miss Aurora to assist you in building your legacy. Now, I want to get into something in this video. Recently, I would say this past month, many of the secured entrepreneurs who have come on board are battling with the spirit of delay. They don't even know that this is what has been taking place in their lives. They don't even know that this is what has been affecting them in their businesses. Okay. Many people are experiencing this spirit of delay. So Miss Aurora has got to now address it so that everyone who is a part of the secured entrepreneur movement and everyone who will come to stop by and visit us here who enjoy these 3 a.m shenanigans that miss aurora puts on because i know there are many of you who go through this whole thing that, like miss aurora who you know are up at the wee hours of the morning you're being called and things are happening okay uh i want to welcome you okay let's get into it for those of you who do not know who i am i am miss aurora day Yes, this is the secured entrepreneur movement, but right now we're, we're experiencing 3 a.m. shenanigans. Okay, secured entrepreneurs. I want to let you all know that the spirit of delay is not a joke. The spirit of delay has hindered many, 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 many people. And I find it extremely interesting that people are accepting the delay in their lives as something that is normal. So I want to put you all on alert today. Whenever you feel the need to say, Maybe it's just not my time. That is deception. Maybe it's just not time for that. That is deception. Here's a good one. I hear people say this a lot and people are singing about this. What God has for me is for me. That is deception. I'll explain. Okay. You will hear many statements. You have probably said many of these things to explain why it is you're having a delay. You may have experienced people tell you things like, I've never seen it take this long. That is the spirit of delay in action in your life. Oh, I, I, I've never seen it happen like that. That That is just, that's not normal. We've never seen it take this long. That is the spirit of delay taking place in your life. Uh, this person told me that they were going to have these documents together. The bank told me that they would have this thing together by this date. And then they called and said that there was a delay. Mm. You can just go through the times in your life, even recently, where something was supposed to happen at a certain time. It did not happen. You can go through the times 
when you were supposed to uh, have certain things done, but you just could not find your way to getting it done. And you tried and you tried. <laughs> okay. You even asked for help. You could not get it done. There were places that you had to get at a certain time. You got yourself together way before time. You left the house way before time. Okay. You didn't make it there. These are small things. I can really get into some large things. Okay. I can really get into some ancestral things. Okay. Because the spirit of delay likes to work in repeating uh, patterns as most spirits do. Okay. I want to, I want to really address the spirit of delay in your finances, in your business. Okay. Because one of the things that you must understand and know is how to now destroy the spirit of delay. In order for you to begin to destroy the spirit of delay, you must recognize the spirit of delay in your life. Now, there's an excellent book, uh, and you can get this book on Amazon and it is called destroying the spirit of delay. Uh, it's by John, uh, EJ, uh, it's I J E H. Okay. I I'm probably pronounce mispronouncing it. Okay. Now all of the secured entrepreneurs here know that Miss Aurora is international. We service international clients. Okay. So I have shared with the secured entrepreneurs many, many times, uh, how I have, uh, you know, prayed with and learned about, uh, many, uh, uh, spiritual things, spiritual, you know, deities, religions, uh, based on the many clients that we have, I have had to learn about their spirituality, their religious beliefs. Okay. I respect everyone's religious beliefs. I respect everyone's uh, spiritual beliefs. Okay. You know, so let me just get that out the way. This particular book is, is based on the Christian belief. Okay. I do not have any problems with anything that this gentleman writes in the book. In fact, I am in 100% agreement with everything that the author points out in the book. Okay. Because I find it interesting that I have been hearing from many of you that we've been talking to this past month, you're saying, it's just so interesting how you're going through the same situation around the same time every year, around the same time every year, the same thing is happening to you. Spirit of delay. Okay. Um, you're, you're, you're telling Miss Aurora that you have started things. You started, can't finish spirit of delay. You have gone to the events. You have watched the tutorials. You have taken the steps. Nothing happens. Spirit of delay. Okay. All of these things, unfortunately, you have not been able to identify what's happening to you as the actual spirit of delay that is hindering your progress. Okay. So I want all of the secured entrepreneurs to really understand what is happening. All right. Now, if you do not, if you do not know that you are in a spiritual warfare every day of your life, you will continue to dwindle and be in despair while you're watching other people succeed. Okay. Understand that when you are seeing people who you, you know, you think these people are successful. They got money, they got fame, all this stuff. Oh, but they're committing suicide. It is a spiritual warfare. Have you, uh, we all have heard the term new level, new devil. And now that's for people who believe in the devil. Okay. Cause as, as I'm saying, there's many people who they X all that out. Okay. Um, but 
the, 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 the point is still there that the higher that you're going in your life, in your finances, right? There's going to be a new battle. There's going to be a new challenge that you're going to have to face. It will always be spiritual first. It will be spiritual before it becomes physical. If you do not win the battle spiritually, you will not win the battle physically. Now, Miss Aurora can really get deep in this video. <laughs> Many of the secured entrepreneurs know Many of the uh, masterminds and the groups that Miss Aurora belongs to and many of the things that are actually being practiced out here, okay? And things that are actually being done to assure success, fortune, you know, things like this, okay? There are people that are truly, truly winning because they understand spirituality. They understand that there are things that they need to do spiritually for themselves to quote unquote, get the edge. And we see a whole lot of people that will do a whole lot of good. They do a whole lot of good. Okay. We won't go talk about other things because here in the secured entrepreneur movement, we stay in the light, right? Okay. So there's three things that Miss Aurora is going to tell the secured entrepreneurs to do at this time. If you know for a fact that you too are being hindered by the spirit of delay. The very first thing that you must do with the spirit of delay is cast it out. And, and this is not a game. Now, I do not want anyone to be offended by anything that I'm about to say. Please do not be offended and apply it to whatever walk of spirituality you practice, whatever religion <clears throat> you practice. If sweet Afro Jesus is your man, give it to, give it to Jesus, get him on the main line, tell him what you want. Okay. Um, but you have to be aware and I'm going to give you a fine example. I'm going to give you a fine example really quick. Recently I have, I have been meeting a lot of women in their late fifties, early sixties, and you see them all over YouTube it, talking about they want to be married and they want to be married to these wealthy men, right? They don't have their own homes. They don't have any finances. They don't, they don't, they, their lives are not together. You've been, they've been on the planet all these years. Nothing has jumped off in life. Okay. Um, but now all of a sudden at this stage of life, they, they are talking about, they want to have these, wealthy husbands. They want to have husbands that are rich and they, they got these uh, fantasies and these illusions. That is the spirit of delay. Like, like what you're supposed to be doing at this phase of your life, you're blinded from the, the spirit of delay got you so blinded from what you're really supposed to be doing. You're in a fantasy. Like you're a young girl. I mean, that's just one example. I mean, I can really get, I could spend two, three hours of what's really going on that people really don't see that the spirit of delay has really overtaken their life. Okay. So that's what Mr. Roy is trying to tell you. First, you got to recognize that that's what it is going on with you. So, so go deep, go deep. Okay. And once you understand that, oh, that's what it is. Okay. You got to start casting it out. Now, this is what Miss Aurora, and this is not a one-time situation. This is a daily situation. Okay. Now, Miss Aurora is a prayer queen. Okay. I'm just going to tell you that. 
So the, first you got to call in your layer of protection. So Miss Aurora will stand in the middle of the floor. Holy angels from the north, the east, the south, and the west surround me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Angel Michael, Angel Uriel, and the mighty warriors of light on earth. Place the super bubble filled with light around these giant shape-shifting demons and these spirit entities attached to me. Take them to the place of confinement and the womb of transformation so they can do no more harm. We come against all evil, foul, afflicting spirits of delay. We bind you on earth as it is in heaven. We rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go in the mighty name of Jesus. As we loose the spirits of wealth, excellent health, love, peace, happiness, prosperity, freedom, forward moving action. Okay. See, what you have to understand is that when you cast a spirit out, you got to call in the spirits that you need to now take its place. You, you cannot see, it's not a game. It's not, you know, you can't play church. You can't do all that stuff that, you know, many people have been indoctrinated with. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not, and I'm not judging and making fun. I'm not doing that because this is serious. This is why you got generations of people with nothing, with absolutely nothing. I'm, I mean, we can, we can, we see the world, we see what's happening here. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that the first step, when you recognize that this is what is actually going on with you, you have now got to begin to cast it out. Okay. And, and be serious, be serious. Now, after you cast it out, number two, remember what I'm saying to you about time. Time is your most precious commodity. You can't sit up there and listen to, uh, okay. So we know how everything has its appointed time. Yeah, every, every spiritual sect will tell you everything has its appointed time, but do you not know that Many people miss their appointed time because of the spirit of delay. Okay. And any, any of the, you know, Christians out here, y'all know, y'all have read where Daniel said he, he prayed and, and the angel Gabriel told him, listen, I was ready to answer your prayer of the day that you prayed, but the prince of Persia, which was a spirit held me up for 21 days. It took the angel Gabriel 21 days to answer, to get to Daniel, to answer Daniel's prayer because of the spiritual warfare. It's not a joke. Okay. Now, seeing as you already know, you're, you're sitting up there saying, you know, I don't pray. People have been praying for years. You see the same people in church, uh, 20, 30, 40 years praying about the same stuff. I ain't never got to live it. Okay. Because you, you're not even recognizing the spirits that are hindering you. Okay. So after you, as you after you cast it out, remember you got to call in the spirits that you now want to come and take its place because you got work to do. Okay. So now that you understand that the delay is stealing your time. Now you go back and set the goal again. So we all know many, many of the, you know, everyone here in the mastermind for the secured entrepreneur movement, uh, we follow the uh, Think and Grow Rich theme. We have the chief aim. So whatever the chief aim is, there's a time on the chief aim. Why is there a time? Because we have to track progress. And that's the problem. If, if you are not tracking progress, you won't even know that you are being delayed. <laughs> okay. So step two. After you cast the spirit of the layout, you call in the spirits that you need to take its place. You now go back to the endeavor. This is the chief aim. This is how much time I know it's going to take for me to accomplish the chief aim realistically, right? This is, this is the amount of time that I know it's going to take for me to accomplish this chief aim realistically. Okay. Now, once I put the chief aim up there, 
I put the time. It could be 90 days. It could be five months. Okay. Now under that, you're going to put the steps and I'm talking each step. What are the steps that you need to take to accomplish the chief aim? Because see, you got to track the progress. Okay. Now you're following that for the time. Okay. In any, in any time during that time that you have set, you see that that ain't happening. Jump on it, jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. Okay. Delay is trying to creep in because see delay got friends, delay got friends. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm not really getting into the book in this video is because what I'm really getting into is the, um, the energy blocks, the money energy blocks, but th those are really spirits. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the, 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 the spirits that are blocking your money. And I'm going to, I'm going to do that video next. Okay. So we're, we're talking about, uh, the friends of delay that will now try to creep in as you're working your plan, which is why number three is extremely important. Now that you know that the spirit of delay has been running around rampant in your life and, and, and many areas I'm talking with your parents, your, 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 <laughs> Oh God, your siblings, your children. All right. People on your job, people you're trying to work with, you know, your, your company, all this stuff, right? Okay. You cast it out. You called in the spirits, right? You're doing it daily. Cause I'm telling you, it's not, it's not a, it's not a one-stop shop there. You got it. You got to stay on it. Got to clean it up. Right. You done, you done, you done, uh, 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 revisited your chief aim. Now you're doing it the right way. You put a time on it. You listed the things that you know you need to do to make it happen. Right. All right. Now, you got new disciplines in your daily life. Now you can't wake up the same the next day because see some of the habits that you've been practicing in your life has nurtured the spirit of delay. See the things that you've been doing all day, every day, the thoughts that you've been thinking all day, every day have been assisting the spirit of delay. Okay. So now you got to, to create new habits and new disciplines that, that go along and aid the new endeavor that you have put a time limit on. Who is it that I now have to be to accomplish this? Now that I have gotten rid of the spirit of delay. Now that I'm on watch, you know, because remember something, the spirit of delay has been monitoring you. The spirit of delay and its buddies have been monitoring you. So see, you've got to get rid of delay and all his little buddies, right? So now you're, you're taking the monitors play. I, oh no, I got this. I got this. I done called in the angels. I done called in the spirits that I need to assist me. We on the job now. So that means that because I'm winning spiritually, my physical body is now lining up. There are some things that I'm about to start speaking over myself when I wake up in the morning. This is why I tell the secured entrepreneurs, you better start saying that creed today is a new day. And I command this day to rise up and meet me mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. As I announce my superpowers to the world, I am dot, dot, dot. Okay. It's not a joke. Now, I, I think I went deep enough in the video. Those are the three things that you're going to need to start doing to destroy the spirit of delay in your life. Because many of you are wondering why you're not a millionaire yet. And let me tell you this quick story. <laughs> um, one time, uh, Miss Aurora went to her mother's house. And, uh, I was sharing 
some things that were being delayed. Now, this is before, you know, I was really spiritually in tune. And I kept saying, I do not know why this thing is being held up like this. This is in place. This is in place. I'm ready. This is ready. All I don't know why, what's going on, all this stuff. Now, mind you, and we all do this, we don't know we're talking to the wrong person. It's your mom. You know what I'm saying? You don't know you're talking to the wrong person. Okay? As I'm leaving, I'm already out the house. I'm at the car. The precious, lovely woman who gave birth to this tenderoni runs to the front door and shouts out at me while I'm at my car. Maybe it's not meant for you to be a millionaire. I turned around and I said, I do not receive that. I do not receive that. Now, it was after that that the Most High gave me many recordings of things that uh, she would do uh, that would actually harm me. And all, all of them actually came true. Uh, but, but with the understanding that you're not dealing with the person, you're dealing with the spirits that are operating through the person. Okay. And when you understand these things, okay, you will now know how to battle. You will know now how to begin to speak life over yourself. You will know now how to uh, govern yourself accordingly, spiritually. Okay. That's how I want to end this video. Now, like I said, I'm going to get into the energy blocks, the spirits that are blocking your money for real, for real. Okay. So you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, 